guys, so we're going to make some laundry detergent today. We're going to do a DIY. So what you would need is just any kind of letter stickers with letters on it. Um, it doesn't matter how many it's in the pack as long as it's letters. Um, most of the stuff that I got was from Dollar Tree and the 99 cent only store. So if you're budget savvy, then I would definitely go there. Um, and then I got this essential storage box. I love this storage box. It's going to actually fit all of my laundry detergent that I'm going to be uh, making inside of here. And it has a lot of space. I love space. Or you can use a mason jar or any type of jar from Walmart. I know that they have ones with lids. But make sure it has a lid. <laughs> and then I got this cheese grater here. Um, it's a really nice cheese grater. And you're probably like, whoa, whoa, you're, you're using an actual cheese grater? Yes, I am. That's the only way I'm going to be able to uh, zest my zolt <laughs> soap inside of my homemade DIY laundry detergent. Also, you're just going to need some type of scoop. It don't have to be expensive. Like I say, I bought everything from... Either the 99 cent only stores or Dollar Tree. So you can get one of those, whatever size you want. But I thought this size was just a little bit nice for what I'm doing. Um, and then I got the pink soap soap. Um, I know that they carry like white uh, soap, soap as well. And I really like this. It smells so good for your clothes. And it's safe for delicate clothes. So your bras, your panties, sis. Um, or your boxers or brief. Uh, bruh. <laughs> So I did get some of this booster scent and this is the fresh scent, um, little sparkles. They're blue, they're cool, they're cute. And it's going to make the laundry uh, detergent smell really good. And also while you're washing, it's going to be softening up your laundry detergent. So you don't have to buy any type of fabric softener because this stuff works and it makes everything smell super good. Also, I have found the awesome laundry detergent brightener that I'm going to use. At the time, I didn't have my Oxy awesome laundry detergent, so I had to do with what I got. But girl, I found some on hand, okay? So I bought some of this uh, laundry detergent. It's fresh and clean. Uh, spring, fresh. This smells so good, absolutely. If you're a big fan of Gain, I would definitely buy this. I bought it at Dollar Tree. So these are all the products that you need for your DIY laundry detergent. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog today. I just want to kind of show you guys how I make my, my laundry detergent. So anyways, you guys, make sure you take all of your labels off of your items, your products, whatever you're going to put in there. Take the labels off of everything so it won't be in a way and you won't be like, uh, stopping the camera every five seconds trying to do that. Um, also, I'm just going to go in with my laundry detergent. I love to do this first because I don't want to put this laundry detergent on top of everything and then have to like constantly mix. You know what I mean? So make sure you put all of your laundry detergent in there. Also a note too, don't throw the box away. Make sure you open that box up, open it all up and pour it all in there. So I'm right now I'm just going to put some of my ox, my awesome, my awesome brightener booster powder inside of my laundry detergent. The only reason why it, it says brightener because it's just going to brighten up your clothes. You know, don't be alarmed like it's going to make your clothes fade. No, it's going to just brighten up your clothes, make the colors look a lot, lot brighter than they were before. And it's going to smell good and you're going to be totally awesome. So I just put two scoops, big scoops of that in. Uh, my laundry detergent and uh, um, if you like to put three then you can do that but I just put how much my skin can handle I do have sensitive skin so I try to put um, the right amount that it's not going to make me scratch or anything like that so you just want to scoop it around make sure everything is mixed in um, nice and good don't leave no nothing out and then I did find some of the awesome awesome oxygen um clothes powder as well and I'm just gonna do at least one scoop of that and put it all over the clothes and then I'm gonna do what I did previously is basically mix everything around and then I'm gonna be on to the next um, thing that I need to do <laughs> so you guys this is the good part we're putting that nice spring fresh blue beads 
booster inside of our laundry detergent. This is what gives it color. This is what gives it that, that good spring fresh like smell. It smells so amazing, you guys. Normally, you will put this just in the water once it gets on the rinse cycle. Um, this is your fabric softener, by the way. So, yeah, you can put how much you want in there. But me, I'm just putting that little that little that you just saw, I put that in there. So I'm now grading my Zote soap so that I can get full coverage of clean clothes. Um, the Zote soap works, you guys. You can even use Zote by itself and it gets all like stains. It removes like tough dirt. I have a six-year-old son who loves, when I say loves, <laughs> to get his clothes dirty. And I'm constantly washing clothes over and over. So... Um, what you basically do is just grate it in there and then put how much you want in there. I only put half a bar in there. So that's just how that works. So after you finish grading up that zolt in your laundry detergent, you know what's next. You see what's happening. We got to mix it all in, baby. You have to mix it all in. Make sure you get a full coverage of mixing. Don't leave none of the zolt out of any of that laundry detergent. Mix it well. Mix it, okay? So I decided I needed a little bit more zolt in my, my uh, laundry, laundry detergent. Because, you know, that's just me. But I only use a half of bar. And so I'm just going to go in and mix it again. So there you have it, your own personal laundry detergent. You made that, so you know what's next. It's, it's time to label that, okay? So you're going to see me labeling this um, storage box with my laundry detergent in it. It's just going to pretty much say homemade laundry detergent. So enjoy. going to take a bottle or some sort and just kind of rub the letters to make it stay on because these letters did come from the Dollar Tree and sometimes they do not stick at all so yeah you guys we've made our homemade laundry detergent DIY style so I hope you guys enjoy the video bye